episode six. Fight is an environmental series that showcases your poems and songs inspired by the natural world. Now it's time to introduce you to your online neighbours as we watch through all of your entries and let you vote for the first ever Fight Award winners. The most popular poet and musician will each win a £500 prize and the same amount will go to an environmental charity of their choice. Head to the Homestage website to vote now. This is Grateful Dead Boogie by Holly Tannen. Was there music before the Grateful Dead? And why are they grateful? Eight-year-old Oliver said, Up spoke Mariana, who's five. They are grateful they're not still alive. They don't have to see what's going on. Every they fought for, going or it's gone. People scared to speak their mind, people scared to sing. Rich folks are stealing everything. Why are those men chopping down the trees? Do the redwoods have a tree to see? written that song about the giant redwood trees on the west coast of the United States. These trees, they grow very high, they can live for thousands of years, and they are the type of tree that can hold the most carbon, or carbon dioxide, than any other tree. So um, they are really good for cleaning up the air. Yeah. And so when they get cut down, obviously, then it's a lot worse for our environment. Mm. But by the end, when she's saying that um, we're going to help the redwood trees to thrive, we're grateful we're still alive. So she completely, mm. by the beginning we're hopeless, by the end we're hopeful, we're a community, we're going to save them, we're going to work together. Mm. Children will often point out things with like no filter. Exactly. And yeah. it sort of does this here and it's quite sort of heartbreaking to have to address it. Mm. And if the child is saying, why are they chopping them down? Like it doesn't make sense. There must be a reason. Yeah. And then the only reason is maybe for profit or for being yeah. able to develop or something. Yeah. It's, it shows almost the corruption behind it through the eyes of this child. Due to the ongoing war in Ukraine, European countries have been turning away from Russian gas supplies. Part of this includes a switch to renewable energy, with plans for half of the EU's energy to come from renewables by 2030. A new solar rooftop initiative has made it mandatory for all new buildings to have solar panels by 2029. It is hoped that this will more than double the amount of solar energy produced. This poem is called Noah's Ark by Tom O'Brien. Noah's Ark Noah knew a thing or three about arcs though he never had to deal with dry snakes in the parks, as far as I know, or alligators eating raw potatoes in the fields where the potatoes grow, or see the hedgerows decompose, cause underwater watch your toes, and lettuces flow lonely in ordinary roads. There is ice in the neighbourhood, but it's not in the fridge. It's log jamming tightly against the almost submerged bridge, while uptown bright red stilettos are swimming downstream towards the emptied out ghettos. The people are gone, but the water hurries on, self raising ever more as it heads for the hills. 
and the high-rise domains, where soon this new-spawned Atlantis will be all that remains. Thank you. He knows a thing or three about Ark, so I love that hopefully. <laughs> In thinking about the biblical story of Noah's Ark, it's all gone completely topsy-turvy since then. It's such a long period of time between when that was written and when this is when his poem was now written. And it's just so weird to think about how much the world's changed. Sounds a bit bonkers having the topsy-turviness. We're like, well, that's not how it should be, but that's how it is. And imagine this figure, like Noah, like a, a caretaker of all of like the world's creatures, sort of looking at it now and thinking, oh God, like what has happened? Yeah. I need to build another arc pronto. Check out all full entries on the website. Vote for your favourites. Thanks for joining the fight. We will dance and boogie all of us We will help the redwood trees to thrive. We are grateful we're all still alive.